Hey, my Polish people, how are y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great. So do you see a little something going on? Yes, so we have fall here. I am feeling very fall, as you can see. I got a little bit, well, this color is not really, you know, coming off the way that it should be on camera, but it is a very, um, it's like a mixture of yellow and a tint of green in this shirt. So it's very fall-like. It's not like just a screaming yellow, okay? Then I've got this cute little flower on, a little leather flower that's a magnetic that my friend made for me. Actually, she made them for my bags, but I thought it would be kind of cute to wear it as a brooch. <sighs> I guess I've become an old woman, right? And then also I have my lips and this one, actually, I think I brought it with me. Nope, it's not in here. Do you guys remember when Selena came out with um, her line at MAC Cosmetics a few years ago? Well, yeah, I bought the whole line. So this is that one. I'm not sure if this one, this one's, I don't think this one's Como La Flor. It may be. If it is, I will put it up here, show you a picture of what it looks like. Forgive the noise. I'm just going to have to roll with it. Please forgive me. And then my nails. My nails is by Essie. It's the new. I'm not sure what this line is called, but it's new from Essie. And this one is called Ace of Shades. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I posted this picture. And it is a matte finish. And it's on my nails now. Like, it is gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. So, I had lied, you guys, right? I had about, like, three nail polishes from summer, untried, that I really wanted on the nail before September was over. Because I was like, okay, once September's over, or once I'm done with those three nail polishes, I'll move on to my falls. But y'all have inspired me to put some fall nail polishes on my nails. I couldn't do it. I had to put these, I had to put this on. So this is my very first um, nail polish for the fall. And it's this one by Essie that I just showed you. Gorgeous, and it's a matte, and I have been filling the mattes. And that will be in a haul to come because I got some nail polishes that I do want to show you guys, but that will be at the end of September. Coming up soon, once I get this last shipment of nail polishes that I ordered, but anyway. So, um, I have filmed this video of, a like, nail polish, fall nail polish, like, my rack or something like that. I saw that. I have been seeing that going on. And I filmed this maybe about a week and a half ago. But I was actually sitting in this room and showing you the nail polishes, like, how I normally do whenever I do my hauls or whatever, showing you guys the nail polish. I actually wanted to do this way. Of showing you guys because I see a lot of you guys like to show your racks and how you guys have your um, everything set up so this is how I have mine set up I have only two nail polish racks the one is over here and this one that you're looking at right here this is a one two three four five six tier both of them from Amazon I will put the link down in the description if you are looking for a six tier nail polish acrylic clear acrylic yeah that whole situation anyway i'll put that in the description um so check that out and that will be the link straight to where i got this okay so anyway these two lines right here is my fall nail polishes that i will be using this fall now i don't even want to make a promise because y'all see how i did with the summer one i said i was going to use every last one of the polishes that i had on my summer rack and that was a lie i did not but you know hey it's just what it is right so anyway um and not only that like you already know when new lines come out with new collections you want to buy those you want to put them on your nail so like these are all the ones that i have already previously bought so Sometimes it will get on the nails, sometimes they won't, but for the most part, these are the ones that I do want to um, put on the nails for the fall. So I'm going to go over them quickly with you guys and everything. So yeah. Okay, so we're, I guess we're going to start off with OPI. We're going to go from this way to this way, this way to this way. Excuse me, this one is by OPI and this is in the color Lizard 
just spotted the lizard right here and you know when I normally sit down I have that big huge white piece of wall so I can put a, a picture of each of the nail polish and clear lighting for you guys so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this so just bear with me I don't know if I'm just gonna show you the nail polish just like this or if I'm gonna put it up there let me know how you guys like it done do you guys like it when I sit down and have that empty wall so I can put the nail polish and a picture for you guys right there let me know how you guys like it but anyway this one is just spotted a lizard by Oki. I bought this many many years ago I don't even know what collection that was that was before I even got into wearing like knowing what collections are or any of that stuff okay so this is another one this one is by spare me a French Quarter I have talked about this before maybe twice on my channel this color I I purchased this not too long ago I think I worn it I don't even know if I worn this one yet I don't know but I do know that this was from the New Orleans um, collection and it is a hot pink so I think this one would definitely go well for the fall and then we have this one by OPI not a bore boring pink and this one is gorgeous can you guys see that flash that blue flash that goes through it like I you know at sometimes at some angles it looks like it's like like blue and then sometimes it looks like it's silver a silver flash gorgeous I have worn this before absolutely love it okay I don't know why I have two OPIs down here but I'm gonna grab from these OPIs and then I'm gonna keep going right here okay okay so this is another OPI and this one is Susie needs a locksmith and this one is definitely gorgeous this is like a burnt orange pumpkin spice i have talked about this one before i have not worn it but purchased it from the scotland collection which is still available at sally's and some other places but definitely gorgeous and i'm not going to keep talking about this one but i can't wait to get it on the now here goes another opi my last one um this one's called german cure by OPI, I think that's what it's called. My eyes are, cannot see those little tiny labels well. And this is a gorgeous color. You see that? It's like a really deep, deep red that has some orangey shimmers through it. And you guys, excuse Roxy. She's naughty. She did a little naughty business. So she's in her crate right now. And she's not happy. And she is a puppy. So she's still in training, you guys. So, so sorry. I might have to calm her a little behind down um okay so i have two from la color and i have talked about this one before this one is in the call bali bliss it's a teal pretty then i have this one by la color and this one's called crown jewel and this is a green sh green um shimmer really pretty really hard to grasp this in this angle i don't know if i like the standing up over here let's see okay this is a very old one by finger paints and this is called dial my number and this is a really pretty orange i thought this would be a really nice manicure for the fall you know to maybe do even some art with that i don't know we'll see how that works here goes another finger paints and this one's called what a night gorgeous very old um, nail polish don't remember what line I, I mean honestly I don't even see finger paints anymore um, but yeah very gorgeous okay let's get into sinful colors and this one is San Francisco which is an oldie as you can see I mean I ha I mean I've used this one quite a bit very gorgeous it reminds me of Wizard of Oz I like this color all right, this is Sinful Colors, and this is in the color Slate. We've got a nice gray. Grays are very nice for fall and winter, too. All right, and then we have another one that's called Nude Mood. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it is a plum purple that has some gold shifts that run through it, and I'm probably going to have to have a picture for this one not gonna be able to see that and we've got a brown that has like a green shift that runs through that you guys see that 
greenish blue really really pretty can't wait to put this one on the mail as well we have an orange and i didn't even tell you the name of this one sorry this one is called body language sorry and then this orange one is called feel the vibe very very pretty for like a pumpkin you know uh, let's see this brown and this one is called hot toffee really like this this is like a grandma color for me um, nudes mobs all that stuff is kind of like grandma -ish, and I really love this one haven't worn it yet but I know I will love it and that is hot toffee hot coffee no hot toffee and this is fairly new so this one's by the um, yeah it's new shades by simple color so this one's fairly new you might be able to find this one still and this one is also simple colors and this one's called berry charms really pretty really really pretty really really pretty Got that one and then we have another simple and this one's in the color fig love this color love 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 all right and then let's go to china glaze so i guess we're gonna go over here um this one's good as marigold very very pretty this one's fairly new too i can't remember what collection this is but it's fairly new so you might be able to find this one and this is like it's not really a neon so i really feel like this one would be a good one for the fall as well this one is an oldie but goodie and this one's called ahoy absolutely love this this has some really nice um glitters that run through this some gold glitters really really pretty for the fall okay that one is upside down because i can't fit it in there okay this zoya is in the color cam really nice kind of like a bright orange honestly not neon just really bright so i think this one would be good for like some kind of pumpkin-y fall art possibly i can't see myself putting this all on my nails but using this as an accent or some kind of art on the nail i think this one would be really pretty okay the one that i stuck down here the bottle's really odd shape and i can't fit it in this row <laughs> So this one's by Night Owl Lacquer, and this is No Scars to Your Beautiful. This is from the March Polish Pickup, so you can't no longer pick this one up, but it's very gorgeous. Look at that. I didn't even have to, like, shift it around. It is so pretty. It's a cream teal, or is this a turquoise, with, like, just imagine fall leaves crushed up in this bottle. That's what this looks like. Very gorgeous set that there then this is an oldie it's by pacifica and this one's called red red wine oh this one's gorgeous really really pretty i need to get into wearing reds i'm not a big big red person i love the color red but as far as like wearing it on my nails i don't so my goal this fall is to get it a little bit more into the reds and for winter definitely for the reds i might I might save all the like bright, bright reds, not super bright, not summer bright, but you know, brighter reds and darker vamp reds for the winter. But I definitely want this one on the nail because I think this one's really, really pretty. All right, we have two by Essie and this one is in the color Wicked. Really pretty. It looks very similar to what I have on my nails right now. Actually, I'll put them together and you'll see there is a difference definitely there's a difference this one's obviously like a really ox bloody red like on the nail what's on my nails now is this essie and it really well no not really this one but it looks darker than what's in the bottle but when you're outside it's very close it's just this lighting in here you guys i'm so sorry but isn't that gorgeous though so this is in the color wicked and then this is my grandma and all-time favorite essie i have never been the biggest essie fan ever but this one this one takes it for me this one does it all for me i love this grandma color and this one is island hopping 
I put this on my Instagram as far if you guys follow my Instagram as you guys should I don't know where I'm gonna put it probably down here because this is busy in this area anywho this color right here was uh, featured in my grandma untried polishes that polish talk um, has going every two weeks she has she she does like um, she reaches in a pot and she pulls out like two or three tabs and you know in those you're supposed to wear them for like two weeks or something of that sort well the last two weeks was untried grandma polishes or just grandma polishes in, in general and I had this and the un um, the grandma nail polishes and I did not wear not one grandma nail polish but I knew I was gonna get to this anyway because this is one of my favorite just year-round nail polish but definitely this mauve is so pretty for the fall yes if you like grandma nail polishes and the formula is amazing it is a cream there's no shimmer there's no nothing it's just straight cream beautiful okay so we have another gray and this one is by sally hinsta by the insta dry and this one's called grease lightning really love this this is a cream it's so pretty this is like one of my all-time favorite grays like I don't wear gray nail polishes very often, but if I do, it's this one, definitely. All right, I have one magnetic nail polish, and this is an oldie. This one's about by Sa uh, Sally Hansen Magnetic, and this is in the color Silver Elements, which it's a purple metallic. Really, really pretty. I haven't worn this one in years, but you never know. I might get it on my nail, so we'll see. All right, we have, um, dude, where is that other nail polish at? I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I knew I had two glam polishes. Sorry. Anyway, this is by Glam Polish, and this is to the moon and back. Fairly new uh, nail polish. This is by the, I can't remember what line this is, but it was a recent within the last few months. And they might have it on their um website i'm not sure but this is to the moon and back really pretty it's a gray curly with flakies um orange orange and green flakies and there is some pink matte glitters that run through this really gorgeous okay we have another glam polish and this is a white curly with a bunch of different color <laughs> um different color flakies that run through it brown green yellows oranges and i see some purples too and there's some pink matte glitters that run through this and this is fairly new this one is something that wasn't there before and i believe this is like the disney villains i can't remember but this was like a limited edition this one ran with this one they were together i want to say in like a combo i don't quote me i can't remember and this one if you're curious this is the girl who had the, the girl who has everything this is not a nail polish that i'm saying i'm gonna put on my nail. i'm gonna wait for winter because it has like some really nice elements in it for the colder winters but um this one's more warm and yeah so that okay we have one by lollipop posse lacquer and this one is among a million and this is from the polish pickup in march so unfortunately you cannot pick this one up but look how gorgeous that is you see the green then you see the orange and this is in a purple base gorgeous i really want to use this color with like an orange i'm not sure i'm not probably this bright one i don't know i don't know we'll see Still have not worn this nail polish by Tom and Tonic. This one's the Tonic Appreciation 2018. This is a, a chrome. Or is it? I can't remember. I can't remember, but this one's really pretty, pretty, pretty. You know how Tonic does it. And then this is another by Tonic. I have not worn this one either. This is Peacock Parade, and this is also a chrome, a multi-chrome how pretty that is still have not worn that been saying how much i wanted that nail polish and still have not worn it all right and then this one is by painted polish and this is in harps in the haze and this was a polish pickup i believe back in march so you can't no longer pick this one up but 
I had to get this one. This is one, honestly, I think every fall I will wear. It looks like throw up. And I know what you guys are thinking. That sounds so nasty, which it does. But to me, I find this color such an ugly, beautiful. It just reminds me of like puke. I hate to say it, the color green of puke. And then with bits, bits of chunks of flakies that's just thrown up in it. But it's a beautiful throw up, okay? Like, I know that sounds nasty. Like, how can throw up be beautiful? But this is beautiful to me. So, yeah, harps in the haze. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so, you guys, that is it for my fall nail polishes for 2019 i will be doing some hauls i'll have a haul at the end of september and i'm and it will be some nail polishes that will add on to this lovely rack which i have no idea where i'm gonna put it at because literally this is normally i'll fill up one and maybe a little bit of the things that i want to wear for a certain season and then I'd be adding on to it because I'd be buying stuff. But for me to start off with just already two rows, this is going to be difficult because I know that I'm going to pick up more stuff. So we'll see how this rolls. If you guys ever, ever want like a full nail polish um, haul, I only have two racks. So I'm still at a point where it's not like really, really big. But it is bigger than the average person, I will say. But um i think that will do it you guys if you guys have any questions please put down below i love you guys so much i love this community um i appreciate you guys i hope you guys appreciate me and what else please follow me on instagram i'm always painting my nails and putting up the swatches for that and if you guys want to see anything please comment down and let me know what you guys want to see and I think that will be it, you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys were not annoyed by hearing lovely Roxy in there yelping and asking to get up out of that cage. Well, her crate, whatever you call that thing. So anyway, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.